Today on Fitness Under Fire, Scott Herman versus Grow with Joe. Is it okay to promote super easy workouts? Hey everyone, welcome to Fitness Under Fire. If you're new here, we're a channel that tackles current and controversial topics in fitness and health. And as always, the sides that we take in the discussion are randomly assigned, so they don't necessarily reflect what we personally believe, but we're always gonna try to voice the best of each side so that you can make your own decisions at home. I'm Christina, and today on one side we have Kat. And on the other, we have Al. And today's topic, Scott Herman versus Grow With Joe. Is it okay to promote super easy workouts? Okay, so I'm just gonna give the audience a little bit of background. Scott Herman, who's a YouTuber, uh, has this new playlist called Insta Garbage. I love it. Yeah, uh, and uh, he featured Grow With Joe, um, and there was a bit of a controversy that arise from there. Yeah, so Scott Herman essentially went after the channel Grow With Joe and made two arguments against some of her videos. The first one that, that I could tell that was his main argument was that she's suggesting spot reduction of fat, uh, which we all know is bogus. And she does this in some of her thumbnails and mentions it in some of her videos. She really suggests it. She suggests it, yeah. So, I mean, you can take a look at these thumbnails. She clearly is suggesting it. So that's Scott's first argument. His second point, well, I'll let him make his second point. And the workout she decided to give them was pure garbage. Okay, so Scott's essentially pointing out that some of the workouts she gives are way too easy or inefficient and are largely a waste of time. Now, after he kind of went after her here, they had a little bit of a back and forth in their comment section, and we'll pop that up for everyone if they want to freeze frame it and take a look, because these comments are a bit long. Needless to say, it did not end productively between the two of them. Now, just so that everyone knows, we're not going to be debating about Scott's first point about uh, spot reduction. We're largely in agreement with him. Spot reduction yeah, is no need. No. Uh, it's not something anyone should be promoting. It's not helpful to people. It's not real people. No. And it gives them a false sense of hope, and then when it doesn't work for them... We're not they, debating. Yeah. So we are going to jump in, though, on Scott's second point, which is asking ourselves, is it ever okay to promote super easy or inefficient workouts? Let me, let me, let me jump in here. All right. Okay. Uh, the name Grow with Joe is ironic. <laughs> if you do what she says, you're not going to grow. What is she talking? What? Look, <laughs> it depends. It depends. You're not going to grow muscle. That's for sure. You get a little muscle activation. Activation? It's, yeah. Activation. Want to talk about muscle activation, huh? Well, you know, as a beginner, mm -hmm. you probably shouldn't be focused on muscle activation per se. Maybe do some compound workouts, maybe. Mm -hmm. You'll be get better progress on that. But um, let's, let's actually explore uh, what the issue is at hand. So let's face it, guys. The hard truth is that exercise is work. You should be sweating a little bit. You should feel a little out of breath. There should be some sort of work, any type of motion. So physical activity doesn't necessarily mean exercise. They're two different things. Exercise is a component of physical activity. Physical activity can be you walking down the street to your local grocery store. Are, are you, that is not exercise. Are you suggesting her workouts don't even constitute exercise? Okay, like, so, <laughs> okay. WebMD has an article, talks about how to find out if your workouts are too easy. And just to make a point, I'm going to do the exercises <laughs> that she suggests, okay, while making these points. Overhead there, tricep extension. There are five signs your workout is too easy. Number one, you do the same moves over and over again. Number two, which is really important right now, is you can talk with your friends the whole entire time. Number well, you're three, just starting out. You're just... you have barely broken a sweat. Let me tell you, there is no sweat involved. <laughs> it's too easy. What is the problem with something being too easy? This is my kind of workout. No. This is not a workout. This is not a workout, guys. It's not a workout. Okay. Uh, can I jump in here? Couple things. 
First off, overhead tricep extension is a legitimate move. Completely legitimate move if you have weights in your hand. Yes! <laughs> so that's, that's one thing. The other thing I want to point out before I, I jump in and try to be charitable with, to grow with Joe here, I, I really reject the whole sweating idea behind determining if something's a workout. I hear what you're saying. You, it should be uh, a, a little bit exhausting. You shouldn't be able to talk with heart your- Heart rate goes yeah, up Yeah, heart rate bit. should go up a little bit. But I, I, I resent the sweat one a little bit. If you're in incredible shape, like a, a medium to intermediate workout uh, may not work up a big sweat. If you're largely out of shape, just getting up out of your chair may work a big sweat. So for me, that's not the greatest indicator. But I hear your points. Here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna concede these workouts, these workouts are it's not- It's not a workout. We should stop using the word workout when we're referring to that. It's movements. an abomination. Okay. It's a movement. I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna concede that these movements don't form the most efficient workout the most effective workout, and honestly- You're I, still using the word workout when you're yeah, referring to that. I gotta call them something. Also, Emotions. also, let me just straight up say, I as a personal trainer have never nor would ever recommend routines like this. End of conversation. But, <laughs> but here's what I think you're missing in this argument, which is there's two points here. These might be geared to people who would literally be doing nothing else who would literally might just be sitting on the couch. And we have a problem in fitness. You and I do this all the time. I certainly am guilty of doing it, and we're doing it here with Grow With Joe. We have a tendency to take a look at a workout and compare it to what we, as knowledgeable you know, fitness trainers and enthusiasts think, compare it to the most optimal workout. Why? Why do we do that? Just because it's not the most optimal or most effective or most efficient. Do you want results? No, but it's just, it doesn't mean that it's nothing. It doesn't mean that it's completely worthless. If it's catered to people who would otherwise be doing nothing, they're not gonna do Kat's most optimal workout. They're not gonna do Al's most optimal workout. Do you think that she's actually catering to those people? Because in my yes. opinion, no, she's not. What she's catering to is someone who doesn't want to put in the effort and is still in denial that exercise is actual work. That's not someone, that's not necessarily someone that does zero. That's what it is, is someone who's already doing something but if they don't really enjoy it and they're thinking, oh, there's an easy way out. That's why she's able to, I know we're not gonna discuss the spot reduction, yeah. but that's par part and parcel of what she's doing. She's saying, look, this is easy, you can do it too. Right. And you're not gonna get any results doing that. And this is false, and what's so sad about this is that instead of offering real truth, because what she is saying is absolutely fake, no one is gonna build anything doing this. No, but again. And I it's not, it's not gonna be effective. So when you're gonna be doing this, you're gonna get the false impression, maybe it'll help me, you'll be hopeful, then you'll see, I'm doing this for a month, two months, three months, nothing's happening. No, this is And I am discouraged. This is where we disagree. So if you're talking about people who are already starting off on their fitness journey and she's giving them an out saying, hey, try this easy thing instead, you're right. They're not gonna get better results than whatever you they're You know doing. what? Hold on, hold on, let me finish, let me finish. But what if you are an obese person or a person who struggled to get into fitness and you are sitting on the couch and you are gonna do nothing? Yes, arm circles, yes, high knee ups, yes, anything. And she actually does have a plank in here, which is a legit move. But even the less legitimate move, the overhead tricep extension with no weight, getting people moving that otherwise would do nothing, yeah, that's You know better. what I would encourage in that case? Hmm. To do something useful. I would encourage, instead of trying to sell a program, which is exactly what she's doing, that is absolutely useless, to get them moving, I would encourage them to go and buy groceries, to lift those groceries. It's the exact same thing. Can't make a video out of that. She no, can't, that's can't what I'm saying. So what she's doing is selling false hope. It's and that's so dangerous. It's not You're it, wasting how long does she tell how long is this workout? What? An hour, half an hour? It's a waste of absolute time. No, you might it's not as well. What is it? How long? I I, I don't know, but if the, it's if it's half an hour, you might as well take that half an hour, go for a walk. It's, okay. as, it's as efficient and even but people more, aren't gonna do that. That's, more enjoyable because no. you're outside, so this is, you get some vitamin D from the sun, so this maybe is, you get a shower because it's raining. This is the part that I think you're missing and I'm gonna get to my second point here. The part that you're missing is you're still implicitly comparing it you're still implicitly comparing it to better to workouts. To what? To results. To, to results. No, Those to are better workouts yes. because science has shown that it actually 
work. Right. No yeah. one has proven that this works. You know why? No. Because it doesn't. So you would you would honestly tell me that for an obese person who otherwise is doing no, nothing, I this would, isn't better? I would this tell is better. them. No, it's not better. The better option is to do something useful with your time. Go and do laundry, for example. Go up those stairs. That's way more useful because you're actually getting to something. Let me Staying there for 30, 30 minutes. 30 that seconds is a, of arm circles. Fine, but the whole workout is 30 minutes. Yeah. You better be doing something better okay. if you're just doing motion. Let if you're choosing motion over exercise, then might as well make it useful. Do a chore, do a hobby. Okay, let me jump to my second point. Because it's still not, again, you're still couching the argument as motion over like a more optimal That's exercise what it is. regimen. No, it might be motion over nothing. In which case, yeah, I'll take roll with Joe's motion over nothing. The second point that I want to have and uh, that I want to lay out here is this might be better for consistency for some people. Now, let, let, let me just spell this out. There's a theory that's been getting a lot more praise uh, in fitness and a lot more study, self-determination theory. And it's gro grown considerably in recent years in the exercise literature. Part of it suggests that a person is more likely to stick to their working out and their fitness regimen if it's a decision that they autonomously came to on their own. Love it. Okay. This is going to tie into enjoyment. And unfortunately, this is just a harsh reality. A lot of people don't necessarily enjoy what we promote or an optimal resistance training okay. program. Okay. And so let me, let me give an example for me. I personally don't agree with a lot of approaches to fitness that exist out there. But if a person prefers something or takes enjoyment from something, I don't want to take that away from them. Unless it's dangerous. Unless it's <laughs> dangerous. Unless it's going to hurt them. So uh, assuming safety, their preferences have to be accounted for. Yeah. Look. I don't agree with pure cardio for weight loss. I don't agree with that tactic. I don't agree with steady state cardio in general. I also have reservations about CrossFit. I have reservations about Zumba classes. But if anyone tells me, hey Al, I love doing these things and it gets them going, I'm gonna promote them doing it as long as it's safe. Even though it's nowhere near optimal or as effective as what I know that I could deliver them. Love this. Yes. Love this. If they like, I'm enjoying this. That's the point. It's boring. That's it's, what it is. But, Listen. But if, if somebody doesn't find, you find it boring. But if for somebody else, it gets them going, they don't find it boring, and gets them off the couch doing something, you know what? More power to them. I love when someone is being active in any sort of way and they weren't going to otherwise and and they're enjoying it. I love it. But I have, I have a uh, fear that part of the reason why they started becoming a little bit active, regardless of what it is, if it's our preferred way or, or someone else's preferred way, um, that the reason they even started is because they decided, you know, I want a change in my life. Part of that change is to feel better uh, which is great, yeah. but part of that change is also uh, in terms of, let's say, vanity and, and looking better and, and could be also health. Um, and I have to tell you that what she's promoting uh, will, will not help. And then the, the problem with that further is, okay, it won't help, but the person's enjoying it anyways. At least they're, they're you know, not worsening their condition. Okay. But if the motivation is to see results, it's going to be so disheartening. What happens when they don't see so results? So let me push back on that a little bit. For a lot of people, you're right. If you and I do this routine, if any of us do this routine, if, if any you know, reasonably fit individual, uh, even, even some beginners, they may not see results. But that's not true for a lot of other people. There are a lot of people who simply the increase in emotion will help. And, and that's why like Fitbit's so maybe, taken off, even just taking steps, which is like the littlest thing yeah. that you can do for your health, even that's starting to improve people's health. This is just another version of that. It's getting one foot in the door to get them to start moving. So what I would like to emphasize, if you're just, if you're focusing on motion rather than exercise, then make it useful. Make, <laughs> go somewhere, do things that will actually, instead of staying stationary in one spot where you're at home and doing useless like arm flaps or whatever Again, it is. Again, you're using the term useless, it's not completely useless. It is, because on top of that, so let's say like going down to your basement to do laundry, now you've got laundry and your exercise done apparently. Yes, but that doesn't make them feel good, that's not enjoyable, they don't have that autonomous, you know, feeling of, oh, I'm deciding to exercise, they're not getting into it. I gotta this tell you. They might Again, uh, the hard truth is 
that sometimes you gotta do things that you don't enjoy in order to grow and later on you'll learn to love it. And I just want to make, <laughs> I just want to, I don't know if we're coming to a close or not, but I want to make uh, one last, uh, not point, but I have a big grievance with okay. uh, Grow with Joe, yeah. not for the reasons that we've just discussed, okay. with her answer to Scott Herman, which really burned my cannoli, okay? <laughs> like, really. She says, you know, Scotty, you're not being too understanding, and I'm also uh, paraphrasing here. Yes, yes. Um, she says that my workouts are for women, and you won't believe it, but women find this challenging. Oh no. And I have a <laughs> huge <laughs> issue with that for several reasons. And Grow with Joe, I'd like to let you know that women do <laughs> enjoy and do deserve an actual challenge, and what you are offering to them is an abomination. I'm not going to get in the middle of this That's new debate between you and Grow with Joe. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that then. That's probably best. Well done. Um, so that's all the time we have for today. But we want to hear what you have to say. Join in on this discussion. We want to see your comments below. Let us know what you think. And whatever side you fall on in this discussion, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and that bell. And we will see you next time. Bye.